When I started my YouTube channel, all I had was a phone. A cracked iPhone 4, a bunch of books, a book against the window, and that's how I recorded my videos for a while. No, you do not need the latest, greatest equipment. You can literally use what you got, and then you can grow and scale is your channel growth and skills. What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna Queen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. In today's video, we are continuing the YouTube series where I share YouTube tips I've learned along the way as a YouTuber, as well as a consultant. So in this video, I'm gonna share how to record on your phone, bare minimal, as well as some budget friendly ways you can elevate recording on your phone. But wait a minute, before we get started, I want to let you guys know I have a free checklist. It's called the Ultimate Checklist to a Banging YouTube channel. I will provide that link down below so you can download your free checklist. So now let's talk about how to record on your phone. So bare minimum way to record videos on your phone is to take your phone and then I had a ton of books and I just set it on the books and then I record it against the window. Natural sunlight is the best sunlight. It's super complimentary to skin. Now there are some cons to sunlight, obviously. The first con is there is none at night. So you have to make sure you record your videos early in the day. When I first started my YouTube channel, I woke up super early in the morning when the sun was highest in the sky and I would record my videos like that. Another con is that natural sunlight, you can't always bank on it being there. Sometimes when it rains, sometimes when it's all over the clouds, you will not get that great sunlight, but natural sunlight is free. It makes you look amazing and you can use sunlight to get your videos. So if you want to elevate your videos, I recommend getting a tripod. So this is a little mini tripod that you would sit on your desk and it also has a little adjuster. The one thing I like about this is that you can literally move it all around. Too. So I'll show you what I mean. So taking the phone and then you kind of just sit that in there like that. And it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't like move around or anything. I'm not gonna like do all crazy stuff. And then you record. So now you can kind of see. And a lot of these cameras, they now have 4K. So you really don't even have to have like a super fancy camera. So what I love about this tripod is that you can literally record this way for YouTube and then you can move it this way for Instagram. So it doesn't matter what kind of platform you're recording on, you can record vertical or horizontal. So I highly recommend getting a tripod. Get a tripod that's gonna allow you to move it horizontal as well as vertically. So this is something that you can purchase to kind of elevate your videos. You definitely wanna have your video propped up against something. You not wanna hold your video trying to record. Your hands will get tired and the video will be shaky. And we don't like shaky videos, nobody's gonna watch it. So having a tripod and then sitting your tripod up like this and then on your desk and then recording. Once you have your tripod set up, then you wanna make sure that you have a quiet background if you're not gonna be investing in a camera mic. They do have camera microphones that you can use, but again, we're doing very, very basic and I feel like the audio will be fine. So I am currently recording on my phone. So now I want to position myself. Also, I want to make sure that your phone has good storage. You do not want to be recording a video and then your camera says, we're out of storage, which used to happen to me all the time when I recorded on my phone. So make sure you have enough storage to where you can record at least one video fully. Another tip I recommend before hitting that record button is you wanna put your phone on do not disturb. You do not want people texting you and calling you in the middle of your video. So if you can, put your phone on do not disturb and now it's time to actually record. Hit your record button and then I like to actually tap my face. So I'm tapping my face so that the video can focus on me. When you record your video, you can actually touch on your subject and it will focus on that subject. So if you have an iPhone, I definitely recommend like hitting that record button and then tapping on your face so your camera knows to focus on you. I also recommend doing a test video. So just doing like a five second video and then stopping and then playing that to ensure everything looks good. Does your background look good? Do you have anything in your background that's maybe distracting? Maybe have like, I don't know, a piece of paper that 
fell on the ground. So watch that video. I'm really good at forgetting to have like my wig caps in the back. So do like a little test video and then play that really quick to make sure that everything in your video looks good. You look great, lighting looks great, as well as your background. And I've already explained that the best light that you can use is sunlight because it's free. And pretty much everybody has sunlight during the day. But you can elevate your lighting in multiple ways. In my next video, I'm gonna be sharing my lighting setup and I do have some other videos where I kind of go more in depth of how I do my lighting but you can also invest in little things you can invest in things like box lights ring lights which is what I'm using right now you can also do little clip-in lights like this where it actually will get brighter you guys can see it's actually getting brighter and you can kind of clip that on to your phone and it's just gonna make the video look better. And honestly, it just gives your video a little more light, so you can use this. Now, I don't think you could use this at nighttime. I feel like you probably need a little more light, but I think during the day, if it's a cloudy day, a light like this will really add some extra light to your video and make your video look better if you're recording on your phone. So these are my tips to recording your YouTube videos on your phone. As I said before, you do not need the latest, greatest equipment. When I started my YouTube channel, I had a cracked phone. Trust me, y'all, go back, watch them. So creating great videos that grow your YouTube channel and your revenue and your audience, I think the most important thing is the quality of the video content. Not the video, but the video content. Does your video content entertain, educate, or empower? If it does any of those three things, that's really the key. Creating videos that your audience loved and enjoys watching. In my next video, I'm sharing YouTube lighting, especially at night, little ways you can add some extra light to your YouTube videos. You guys stay healthy, happy, beautiful, and blessed, and I'll talk to you in my very next video. Bye!